just win the AF out there, bruv. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Food Review Club. We are at Mother Hubbard's here in Erdington, and yes, you've guessed it, my voice is still in clip state, but welcome back to another video. If you're new here, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe you've seen our content before and you think, yeah, I want a piece of that. Today, we're back with an old friend, Mother Hubbard's, and we've just driven past, seen this uh, shot. I don't know if it's new or not, we're in Erdington, as I've already said, and these guys are legit. It's a really, really solid fish and chip shop, and I think they've got over 100 branches around the UK. We've done a couple of reviews here at different stores. Oh, very good. So let's go over, make our order, see what else they've got on the menu. I think we've got to go for the jumbo again, bro. Yeah, you love a bit of chips. Don't we ever. Please can I order, yeah. to eat in if possible, because it's like a tornado outside. Um, the jumbo, super jumbo fish, please. Yeah. With chips and, can I get, please, curry sauce, yeah. gravy and mushroom peas, please. Push down. Maybe a drink. I am going to get, do you want a drink, Alan? Yeah, I have a Coke Zero. Coke Zero, two Coke Zeros, please. Just that. Everything, yeah? Please. Very I've just seen you've got some desserts. A cornflake tart, please. Not a problem. If possible, can I have it all at once? Can. So Is that's okay. a, just the one called Lake Yes, please. Uh, the important thing to add here, like, look, look at this, Callum. Can I have a look at it? Right. This is actually a, probably a, a nice way to look at it here. You've got loads of these, like, sandwiches and butties for those sort of, sort of, like, smaller lunch items where you don't want to necessarily get a big portion of fish and chips. And also got these, look. There you go, jacket potatoes. So they're not deviating too, not doing kebabs, pizzas, Chinese, everything. They're, they deviated a little bit for the good stuff, but actually... Still potatoes. Yeah. Love this place. Right, if you just take a seat, we'll bring everything off. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wait over there, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, do you need that? There you go. Thank you very much. Now, when we, uh, when we first came here, I got the impression it was like a really smart looking, little independent, but turns out they've got over 100 branches now. And as long as they can keep that quality, love it someone professionalising the fish and chip game. Yeah, we love those little independents on the seafront or whatever else, but for a real fish and chip lover who doesn't want to go all the way to uh, Anstruther in North Scotland, this is very, very interesting. We um, like the style of their batter. You guys can make your own like, opinion of this. I'd love to hear your thoughts of what we get today. So, at that monstrous piece of fish we've just ordered, uh, with chips, 17.95. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, look, the price of fish at the moment, it's all people need to understand, is, is bananas. Um, but you can get regular fish for 7 95 I can see it there now. Yours, is, yours has, what is it, triple XL? It says yeah, it's, Super Jumbo it's, Triple XL. It's huge. So, for everyone is doing cartwheels in their front garden, head exploding, how expensive that is. I've gone for the big one, because that's, you know, that's what we do. Matt loves know. the big one. <laughs> Callum, please. Um, you throw me right off there. <laughs> How big are we talking? <laughs> anyway, special fish, which is large, eight ninety five. So not you're, not, you're not bad at all. That's the real price comparison. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Thanks for being here as well. Getting yeah, a lot of positive comments lately, and uh, it's really, really enjoyable to read them. Um, and if you guys have got any great ideas for the channel, for different types of content, let us know, please. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if anyone knows where to get a new voice box, <laughs> I've looked on eBay, Amazon, nothing has come through. I'm sure Turkey do it. They do everything else. Did everyone thought we'd be going to Turkey for a hair transplant and a new teeth, Callum? Well, nothing's You haven't seen Callum actually, people. He, he has got the full works. He got hey, a new hair, hair in Turkey. Fine. Thank you. My teeth are still. Destroyed. You got a um, you got a hair colour change, didn't you? He's now got a ginger afro. Who would ever do that? No offence to ginger. Bro, whoa, 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 whoa. A ginger afro. <laughs> That's a step too far. You got one. <laughs> it's, it's Why did you look up there? It's huge. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the food. So we've got a massive piece of fish and chip coming and cornflake pudding. All the f***ing calories. Let's go. You 
wait until you see this. They've served it in a pizza box. <laughs> Mate, not only have we got all this, we've got gravy, we've got curry sauce, we've got spicy curry sauce, and we've got our mushy peas. Now, that's 17.95. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? No. That is the most monstrous piece of fish. Certainly the widest we've ever had. Now, Callum, it's time for salt and vinegar. What are we saying, bro? What do you do first? The salt and vinegar first, yeah. Gonna be here for about three days. Mm -hmm. Like loads of vinegar. Come on. Here yeah, we go. Nice. Come on. This is how you do it, people. This is how you do it. Now, Callum, having been here before, I really don't think this is a case of um, quality over quantity. Look at the fish. You've got those gnarly, crispy, crown, aerated batter pieces. There's no pancakes around here. Mother Hubbards, they know how to do their business. Fact. Now, Callum, all we've got to do now is eat. Chips first, Callum. These chips look monsters. What are you going, Callum? We've got four I've different got sauces spice, here. Spicy curry. Spicy curry, come on. Oh, look at the colour of that. Look at that. That's good. Wow. The two times prior, oh, that's good. We've come to Mother Hubbard. They've been blown away. Regular curry sauce. I feel like this, uh, like I said, the main intro. I have full confidence in them as a brand. It's like Look the gravy. At, yeah, it's the gravy. It's good gravy. What would you have? Me? Yeah. Definitely not gravy. Up north, that's the go-to. Gravy. Yeah, I don't like roasting, it's all gravy, so stay away from the gravy. You're in the wrong job, man. <laughs> this is how you try the mushy peas. You go in for the mushy peas, then you go into the one next to it. <laughs> that is how you eat mushy peas. You don't. You don't now, like mushy peas. Not over the others. Oh, all right, I'll have a dunk. Come on. They're good. They're not so sweet. Mm -hmm. If you mix the mushy beans and the, and the curry sauce. Right, Callum, let's do, let's do what everyone is wanting. That's to crack open the fish to reveal exactly how. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. A big chunk. Let's put it out. <laughs> Look at the flakes. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on. Wow, brother. Look at these crispy, gnarly bits on top as well. Full of that vinegar. By the way, it's windy and rainy outside. We've got the sun beating through it now, we're like we're in a greenhouse. Sun's come out of nowhere. Very Man's nice. sweating in there. Nothing like having the flu. Oh, wow, look at this. What an amazing piece of fish. Look at that. Fish really is a fruit of the sea. So it's like the little deep dive. This fish is very, very fresh. You can tell. It's moist. 
buttery, has that little bit of purchase to it. Fishers is old, can have that sort of tenderness to it where it's breaking down, you don't want that. You want it to feel, you can taste it. It's a big difference. The chips, nice crunchiness, skin to the outside, very, very fluffy in the middle. I'll show you what I mean. Look at that, super fluffy. Great quality potato, nicely cooked. And the batter, let me show you. Very, very thin. Can you see that, Callum? You don't have that pancake, doughy sponge to it. That's the opposite of what we're trying to achieve. Listen to this. Nice, crispy crunch. No standing oil, no heavy taste to it. It's exactly what you're looking for. The weather they've got here, cooking this fish, has got a real eye for detail. He knows what he's doing. That is nostalgic beauty. When I eat it, I get everything. The flavours, the crunch, the memories of being a little kid, it all comes rushing back to me. And that's the power and the beauty of good fish and chips. The question is, is this the best mother I've ever been to? Mm -hmm. Mm. Interesting. It all tastes very clean, very professional, very slick. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, dessert. They've got. What have they got? Apple crumbles? Apple crumbles, jam roly polies. Uh, All the classics. Coconut cake or something. Look at that, look. Cornflake tart with custard. It's old school, isn't it? You don't need to be serving anything else. Let me say it one more time for people in the back. You do not need to serve any other desserts than the classics. Jam roly polies, custard tarts, apple crumbles, ice cream. Trust me on that. Now they're, they're more nostalgic than anything then. Takes you back to school days. Bro. That puts a smile on my heart. That's unbelievable. That's so good I want to cry. <laughs> school dinners, mate. What a time to be alive. Do you remember going to get school dinners, mate? Do they even do that anymore? All this know. new stuff, I vegans don't know. and all that. I bet they don't. Not this Jamie Oliver fucking. No, he down. Right up with everyone. The old turkey twizzlers. Jamie Oliver. <laughs> anyway, do you remember the school dinners, Callum? Oh, I do. What was that cake as well? The cake with like the sprinkles on top. Yeah. And that was like another iconic, yeah. Just iconic food. If you're not British, you won't understand, but... Yeah, school, close. school dinner desserts for the one. Simple, but so effective. Now, you and me, Callum, we champion small independence. We, we, we do all the time. That's our, that's our back. What we prefer to champion is great food, however it comes. Um, although these might not be an independent, anymore, that little independent, I thought they were at the beginning. You can't deny how good the food is. It's just literally brilliant. Time for a score. I believe last time we came, we gave this uh, an 8.9. They just missed out on the, you know, different different branch, different people, missed out on the elite category. So today, I, I really, I can't see how we can go below a 9 for this yeah. one because fish was exceptional. The batter is just how I like it. Even now, it's still crispy. I just, I could just, I could just eat the rest of it right now. It's just. <laughs> it's calling your name, man. It? It's f 
massive, the value is, that's three times the size of a normal piece for double the price. Bucket full of chips. And if you're interested in that stuff, you know, they've got all of the other lunchtime stuff like this. It's a really well thought out. Mm -hmm. This is painful, this is... There we Sorry. Go. It's a really well thought out shop. I really like it. The dessert for me is tipped over the edge. Oh, where are you going then? I'm going to give them a 9.3. Great score. I wish there was more places like Mother Hubbard's uh, around. I can't wait to try it again. I'm glad we stopped in today. Saw the sign, pulled over, we're in. Yeah. We really are dropping these little gems all over the place for you guys at the moment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you can't do that, give us a thumbs up. It means the world to myself and Callum on the camera. Him and his ginger afro would really appreciate it. But for now, I'm gonna move myself away from this greenhouse window to the back, to the air-conditioned part of the restaurant. We're gonna eat the rest of this and talk about life, childhood, school dinners, and all that jazz. I really appreciate you being here. God bless. See us big daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?